because there's an elephant in the room, uh, Ian and Trev. Uh, if I Google your names, there is a rumor that pops up. We have to talk about it. Yeah, you probably think we're gay. And, uh, if I Googled your name. If you, yeah. Googled, you get a lot of stories on the internet and a lot of rumours. Um, basically, what happened was we'd been, we'd been at year, West Ham for about one year. Where I got stabbed by my, by my first wife, nearly died. Um, didn't do any story to the newspapers, offered me a lot of money for the story. And then, without it actually going to the press, it just went over England within two days. My, my sister rang me from Nottingham. It was two hours from London. What's this? Everyone's saying that you caught in bed with Ian Bishop. Uh, and this just went round the countries. And, of course, when we started playing football again, the crowds were absolutely slaughtering us with the songs. We were getting abuse on the street. If we walked in the pub, we were going, <laughs> everything, you know. I didn't cope with it well. I was at the team for most that year. I was drinking quite heavily. And um, you can tell what happened to you. Well, but the rumours were that you were lovers. <laughs> but they were. I, I like them a lot, but... Yeah, but know, that was the rumour. Yeah. Uh, but how affected did this affect you? Well, well as a star, if I was gay, I wouldn't choose him, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would affected me. It wasn't my story, was it? I did, I, on the night, me, my wife, him and his first wife, and I'd like to clear that up for Trevor's sake. It's yeah. not his current wife. No. He's been with his, his lovely wife now for 15 years. Yeah. It was his first wife. Uh, so... Th that's one thing, because she's been dragged into the mix as well, which is not right. My wife, my family, my children, you know, it's, uh, it's not nice. Um, the ignorance of it all, of homophobia back then, uh, it's a lot, a lot more acceptable now. But, um, you know, uh, it started, my, my driver's license was on a two-year holiday at Bow Street Magistrates at the time, and uh, <laughs> Trev was picking me up for training. Me, my wife... That means he'd been done for drink driving. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have to say that? Yeah. Um, me, my wife, Trevor's wife, my next door neighbour and his wife were out that night. That's what it was. We get home, Trevor and his wife leave from my house. He's picking me up the next day for training and he doesn't turn up. I get to the training ground and Billy Bonds is waiting for me and accuses me without me knowing anything that's gone on. Um, that me and him were caught with two women first. That was the first story. That's obviously not a better story, is it? So... I told him he needs to get his facts right. Why, what's happened? He said, do you know Trev's been stabbed? I said, I was with Trev last night. He said, do you know he's been stabbed? I said, stabbed? What's, what's that about? He said, he's in hospital. I didn't want to train. I wanted to go straight to the hospital. He's my best friend. Um, Billy made me train. Straight from training, me and Frank McAvenny make our way down to the hospital. And he's there with tubes coming out of everywhere. It was unbelievable. The media outside, TV crews and, and all the press were there, you know? It's, uh, it's but, ridiculous what and, and then the rumors started flying in, and you've said that... We can see this citat here, som you all have been citated på. Gay rumors ruined my England chances. Is one of the things you've been quoted on. Yeah, it could have done. Um, I played for the England B, played one game. We beat Switzerland 2-1, played quite well. Um, the next squad, I wasn't involved. Uh, Billy Bonds actually came to me. I didn't pursue it. Billy came to me and said, um, he's phoned up. The, the England uh, managers, and they said, three reasons he's not in the squad. We don't like his hair. Does that stop you playing for England? Trev doesn't like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they said, we don't like his hair. He doesn't score enough goals. Well, I hadn't scored enough goals before that game that I played in, or after. What's the difference there? And he said, and they're asking about these rumours. So, I mean, you, you know what? There's other reasons why I didn't play. There were some great players around, but, but in my eyes, that... that didn't help. But you moved your family. You moved, didn't you? Well, I, when I ended up leaving West Ham to go back to Man City, I wouldn't live in Manchester for my children's safety. Uh, but you also joked a bit about this during the years. Yeah, we joked a lot. I mean, I, yeah. yeah, so I'll tell you one quick one. Um, I, I went to live with him and his wife, kindly, because I was on my own, whatever. And uh, we used to, I got in bed with him one morning. His, his wife went down to make a cup of tea and was reading the papers. And uh, and suddenly the window cleaner, because you had window cleaners, came up. And he looked in and he saw Bish and me lying in bed together like that. 
The, the, the rumours were already gone before that. It wasn't the window cleaner who started it. Uh, and, you held, and there is a team photo as well. Uh, yeah, and I, we were sitting uh, on the front row on a team photo. I was next to Julian Dix. And we used to do mess about all the time, like pull one sock down and see if the, the photographer would notice. Uh, Just try and ruin the pictures. We'd move the balls around so you couldn't see the names. Or uh, roll one off and, and it would be odd. And then this, this year I decided to hold Julian's hand. So I'm sitting holding Julian's hand on the picture. And nobody noticed. The, the pictures were printed, went out, and they sold 5,000 before they had to call them back. You know, I don't know how much money they lost, but they wasn't happy. <laughs> the things like we played at Old Trafford, you know, and I was in the stand, wasn't playing. He was playing. Tw for 20 minutes, we were singing songs. I wouldn't sing the song. It's, you can imagine what it was. And he was out there playing, and he actually dropped his shorts to the <laughs> Stratford end and showed his arse to them. But, you that, know, it, that, wasn't, that, it wasn't easy to live with. And that didn't help you, did it? No. <laughs> 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 sitting, sitting in the stands there.